The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the Alliance, Lilith and Patch. From Connecticut, the witch. This one should be great, guys. Six man tag team action. Coming up. Yeah, this one's a can't miss, Michael. Anytime you put six superstars like this in the same match, you're guaranteed excitement. Cruz Ramirez, Sal, and Polly, the generation. Here we go again, three on three action underway now. Good luck to the referee, guys. Oh, wow. When you put six competitors such as this in one match, things are bound to break down in a hurry. You know what I like about her? She's approaching this match the same as she would if the title Jeez. was on the line. Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. She has some reason to be concerned here. And the confidence she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. Hey, when you put six of the most competitive women on the roster today in the same ring at the oh. same time, somebody's going to get hurt. And it just so happens to be her. From the looks of things, it just doesn't appear to be her night. But hey, it's still early enough for her to get back into this thing. She doesn't want to get counted out here. Well, she better get back in that ring then.
Tag made. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. Oh, and Enziguri. You've got to believe this one's over. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We talk about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Ooh! Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated. She's looking at it. She better do something fast. There are instances when they... No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Down to the floor. What a stomp. Good grief. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. She might have it. She better do something fast. She is on fire. She gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. She got it! Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed like that. Beautiful technique. This is all but over. She goes for the cover. You're not going to get her that easy. How in the world? When she gets in attack mode, look out. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Damn it. She got her good there. High cross body. She's beginning to take some heat here. She really needs to think about making a tag, guys. This isn't your traditional tag team match, guys. Oh, These matches require a slightly altered game plan. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction, or three superstars have aligned because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit, three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Off the She's looking at it. That's what you call a bad landing. She can close the door here. Can she keep her down? And an easy kick out. I knew she could do it. Comes in off the tag. Nice cross body. This is not where she wants to be. She's got two partners in her corner itching to get in there, guys. Given what she's been through in this match, she may very well be the weak link on this team right now. This is not where she wants to be right now. She's dangerously close to losing this thing. But then again, so is her opponent. What a match. Tagged in. Assault on the lower back.
Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing... <laughs> Using his own head as a weapon. She has got to take advantage here. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. She might have it. Teamwork is always classic but effective. The bear hug. That's all she wrote, fellas. And now she's being pushed to the limit. And she's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Unceremoniously deposited down. Up handle applied by Buster. Game, set, match. This one is over. She goes for the cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's, she's looking at it. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Tagged in. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. And she's toying with her now. Corey, we've talked to her. She might have it. Now it's time to capitalize. Did you? Here's the cover for the win. And the shoulder's up in time. She got her shoulder up, and we continue. Drop kick. Oh, great height. What a stomp. Good grief. I think she's trying to prove a point here. How much more punishment needs to be dished out? Just finish it! The six-man match may have taken it all out of her. She's got two perfectly capable partners, guys. Maybe she likes getting pummeled. I don't know. Give her credit, though, guys. She may be on the wrong end of this battle right now, but she is showing absolutely no signs of giving up. She's looking at it. She better do something fast. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping, I think. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. She better do something fast. Look at that, she escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. The end may be near, folks. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in this six-man tag team match. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio... She might have it. Harsh impact. She can pick up the win here, guys. She goes for the cover. One, two. King and out of that may have used up her last bit of energy. And we continue. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. 
but there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Going for X-Plex, man! Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. She's got something in mind. She's looking at it. Boom. Now, she just needs to finish her off. Going for the cover. One. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. We're looking at complete domination here. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. In off the tag. Job getting out of the way of that one. She got her with a reversal. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Look out! Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Bringing it back into the ring. Here she goes, back in the ring now. She might have it. She goes for the cover. And she kicks out with relative ease. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. In off the tag. Zaguri. She's absorbing some offense here. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. This is not what she wants right now. But the good news for her is that her opponent seems to be running out of gas. And fast. Beautiful technique. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Looking for the exclamation point. She better do something fast. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. Oh, man, what a leg drop. Gets the tag. I think this is the beginning of the end. Ah, oh, bear hug. Look at the power. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. What a six-man tag match. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. She's taking care of business. I remember this part very well. Who could forget this? And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you.